I think the, the great thing about all of this is how we're able to sit down and talk and fellowship and, and, and really give people uh, outward, you know, just like this Facebook Live that, that everybody's seeing right now. This is an outward showing of the yeah. love that already coexists between sure. us for this moment. Sure. So, sure. you know, it's, 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 it just goes without saying. Hey, hey, Dante, and I have to pay respect to Del Rey. This yes. is just the type of man I am. Now, I've never uh, appeared at any of the functions mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's sacred steel or, not, or, or, or sacred strings or whatever you call it. I don't even know what to call it. But it and, and the reason why, I mean, I've never been a steel player. I, 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 I was Ronnie's wingman. So if a steel player goes, he's got to go. Okay. But let, let me say this about him. And you know, I'm done with it, bro. But this is real talk. We grew <laughs> up in organizations that if you weren't in a certain family or affiliated with a certain family, Mm -hmm. You was pretty much treated like nobody. That's real talk, bro. That's facts. I live what I'm talking about. Facts. I didn't read it in no book. That's facts. But what Del Rey has done, he has given respect and honor to people that if it wasn't for his particular thing that he's doing, we, we would have never known about. It. So that's the beauty mm -hmm. of it. When you can appreciate somebody, show up. It ain't about who's the best and who's the better, who's the Jordan, or who's the LeBron. Appreciate the uniqueness of individuality, and oftentimes religious saints don't know how to embrace the uniqueness of individuality. Oh. And that's why Curtis went through so much when he was growing up. And my mother used to tell me, Man, they need to leave Kurt alone. Kurt's a, Kurt's a star, he's an entertainer, he's full of energy, <laughs> full of music. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And he finally manifested that. And I remember when Harris was in his mother's womb. I mean, I knew he was gonna come out doing something, you know what I'm saying? But man, I just wanted to throw that in there, man, because. Man, look, dude, we, we have to appreciate each other. Man. We have to. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, yeah. Shout out to Del Rey. Shout out to Del Rey Grace. Uh, uh, Tressa, Bo uh, uh, yeah, Tressa Bowles, um, she just, she just texts, we are all Mother Taste children. And we are. Yeah. We are yes. all Mother Taste children. So yes. Man, yes. that's the beauty of it. So um, I, I want to go around. I'm going to go around um, one last time. Jerry, so I start with you, man. If there are a lot of young guys that are listening to, to us. There are a lot of young guys that are listening to you. A lot of young producers, a lot of young musicians. And um, I want to be like Jerry's. I, I want to be like Jerry's dad. I want to be like Kurt. I want to be like Gammy. What, what advice would you, would you give them? Man, uh, man, the thing I would tell people, my dad was talking about this earlier, you got to kind of, uh, dig into the person that you're trying to be like so you can't just watch their music videos <clears throat> and think you're going to play like them you kind of gotta right. dig into you know watch some interviews like we're doing right now watch their interviews you know read if they got books out there read the books um it's all about to be studying you know what i'm saying pray stay afraid of and keep your connection with god you know what i'm saying that's mainly first you know what i'm saying and then after that I mean, for me, I think the main thing after that, if you want to be a, a certain type of musician, you want to be known or whatever it is, it's all about networking. And so, you know, after that, you know, if, if you want to be on that level of, a, you know, if you want to produce in with this artist and that artist or playing with this artist or whatever, you got to head towards the hot spots, you know, where things are happening at. So, you know, Los Angeles, you know, Kurt is out there in Nashville doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's hot spots that you got to kind of be at if you want, you know, your career to kind of, you know, just take off, you know, how you want it to go. You got to be there. So, I mean, that's one of the main things I would tell people, man. It's all about networking, you know, keeping God first, you know, and, and just having good intentions, you know what I'm saying? Right. Always have good intentions and just be a nice person. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Um, any current projects you're working on right now? I just and, and for those of you all that don't know, he does have a, a album that he just released, uh, EP, if you will. You want to talk about it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, released an EP called The Garden. You know, um, I called it The Garden, you know, uh, based off of kind of like The Garden of Eden. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my, you know, uh, I forgot how you, uh, I guess, an entendre title, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, incorporated God and a lot of the lyrics. <clears throat> I try not to over bombard people with the, you know, the whole thing, but I love to incorporate God 
in my music now and, and positivity and all those things. I was going through a period, you know, of trying to figure out what I was going to try to do. And then uh, I had a few experiences, you know what I'm saying? And it just hit me like, me talking to my dad over the years, is just, I'm running away from it doing, you know, spiritual things and, and positive things. Right. So now I'm, I'm just on that. So that's my project, The Garden, is all positive, you know, positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty much it with that. It's awesome. Download it. Download it today. I, I have my copy on my computer. It is it is nice. It is really, really, I enjoy every single track. And I think you're playing steel on two tracks, right? Yeah, yeah. I put a little everything. So I try to, you know, incorporate all my influences, you know what I'm saying? Jazz, uh, you know, uh, Latin music, uh, the 60s. I'm infatuated with the 60s and the 70s. Right. Mm -hmm. so I just, you know, that's that's what I incorporated into the album steel, you know, uh, Jimi Hendrix, you know what I mean? All those are tied into this album. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Kirk, what do you have going on, man? And what advice do you, would you would you leave um, a lot of these um, young producers, a lot of young artists, young musicians who are watching, looking, and and just wanted to know how do how do I how do I do it? How do I get to to <clears throat> level? Man, uh, first of all, I want to say thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for uh, talking about it, man. This is a blessing to to, to be here. And uh, Jairus, man, I'm so proud of you, man. Like he he's just just doing so much man i'm always talking about him as well and um, i'm just happy to be a part of this whole like you know like historical lineage and um yeah dude just want to say i'm just proud of you man like i it's i remember when you were a little kid you know i was just watch you over there shouting my, my, you know by the drums and stuff you know so it's this definitely warms my warms my heart and i don't take it lightly whenever i get the opportunity to inspire younger musicians so I love answering these type of questions. And Jarrett has already really um, said a lot of the things that I was going to say. I will elaborate a little more. But first of all, the first thing I, you should do is really, 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 really like work on your craft, you know, um, study a lot of people on YouTube, you know, and really watch the videos and and just work on you know, what you offer, you know, your sound, you know, your instrument, you know what I mean? Really connect with your instrument. Um, uh, on your fingers and with your heart, you know, with your heart and your soul, like understand that dog, this is ministry. You know, like people always, um, will always hear me say, man, music is just a tool for me. You know, if I was playing football, I'd be the same high energy, Kurt positive, And I would be exactly who I am right now because my job or what I want to do this lifetime is inspire people, uh, to be great, through love and to love each other and, 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 and uh, you know, just kind of be a good person. It just so happens that I hold a guitar or I play a piano or I'm behind <laughs> a drum set. It's just the tool that God gives me. So it, the music doesn't make me, man. Like I, I'm a lover of love, and positivity and leaving a legacy of, of loving God. And that, and I'm just, it just so happens that, you know, I deal with music. So I, w I always encourage them to, to really connect with, your purpose, and, and if you're doing it through music, you know, it's gonna show when you pick that thing up. People are gonna be moved, you know, whether you feel like you played bad that night or missed a few notes, they're, they're not even gonna get it because the level of anointing is gonna penetrate so high that it's not even gonna matter. I am nowhere near the greatest guitar player. Like, it's just not physically gonna happen. But my, my, my love for inspiring people just makes me sound like I'm just better than some of these guys that can play better, but they don't, they don't have, they don't have, they don't got the oil, you know, they're playing a lot of stuff, but they're not moving anybody. So I would say definitely connect with that, man, because God's going to like, you know, make it all make sense. The second thing that I would say is um, for me and my friends, yo, we came up as a group. Mm -hmm. Find your clan because mm -hmm. There's strength in numbers. Yes. You know, someone may not like me just because of the way I look or may not like my friend because, you know, he's from a different part of town. Yeah. But if it's 10 of you guys and all you guys are talented and you're working hard, you know, like it's, you guys are undeniably, undeniably going to get the opportunity to walk through a door. When I grew up, it was me, Adam, Aaron, you know, Spanky, Rashid, 
you know, uh, the Tribbets. Um, I mean, we all roll together. You know, we all, you know, uh, kind of put each other on gigs and we had jam sessions and we went out to eat together and we went to clubs together, you know, and we go, went to listen to bands. And when somebody got a gig, we, we recommended our friends. So I would, I would say that, you know, find your clan, like-minded people that want to work hard, you know, that are driven, that got good attitudes that can play. I mean, y'all just roll up on the scene, you know, deep. And then it, we can't deny you. It's just not, it's not going to be able to happen. So that's the second thing. Uh, the third thing and the last thing I would say is, is something I've just learned. Um, I went to one church in, in the L.A. And the, and the minister was like, ma'am, be as uncomfortable as you can. You know, if there's something that you want to do and, and your initial reaction is, man, I don't, I don't want to do that. That's going to be hard. I got to go do that and I go do that. Uh, he was saying, man, do it. Do wow. exactly what you don't feel like doing. You know, wow. because <laughs> wow, because when you when, when you get in a habit of breaking that comfort zone, you get different results. If you're like, man, I don't want I don't want to move to L.A. It's going to be too much. Uh, I'm going to just stay here in Kansas. I'm scared. I don't want to go to do that. You know, you're going to get the same results. Me. I don't know if you guys know this, but every about two or three years, I'm doing something crazy that most people. A lot of people may say, man, that's going to require a lot of work or that's going to require a lot of effort. OK, I may think about it and I may say, yeah, I don't want to do it. But then I remember that message, man, do exactly what you don't feel like doing, wow. because that's that's how you're going to get new results. I remember when I wanted to learn how to use Pro Tools and I, I, I was like, man, this is going to be a lot. You know, like I don't I don't know how to do it. And, you know, I just need to find stay at stay keep doing what I'm good at. And I told myself, I said, no, remember, we, we are in the business of breaking the comfort zone. So every day, as soon as it hits me and something says, ah, man, that's going to be a lot. I don't know how to do that, man. Stay in your, stay in your zone, stay in your pocket. No, man, life is about evolution. Challenging yourself every day, man. You cannot put God in a box, yo. So that's the last thing that I would say, you know, just never become complacent and run towards the challenge, man, because man, you don't want to be the guy that's on his deathbed saying, what if I tried this thing? Right. That ain't going to be me. So that's, that's, that, that's what I would say. This is, this is so rich. This is so good, man. This, um, are you, are there any projects that you are, that you currently have out or that you're working on? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I am releasing a new single that's coming out in a few weeks. Um, it's a blessing. Uh, it's, a very, it's a very inspiring song that that's coming out, and uh, I am writing in LA and producing for some artists as well. I am writing in Nashville and producing for some some country artists as well. And God willing, um, there's there's a really really big movie that I that I, I'm involved with that that's coming out that was supposed to be out already, but it got pushed back until uh, because of COVID. So. Um, I can't say what it is right now, but because uh, I don't really talk about things until it happens anyway. Because as you know, Jarris, industry, anything could go. <laughs> you can talk about it and then that story don't happen and everybody's looking at you like you're crazy. So y'all just say a word of prayer. Hopefully everything is going to happen, you know, but as of now, <laughs> Jarris, you already know how it is, dude. But um, that's something that, that, that uh, happened earlier this year and it's been a major blessing. So that's Hopefully that's still in the will of God. And um, yeah, so those are the projects that I'm working on, you know, that's just that's fine. Awesome. And thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, just, absolutely. Just absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So Gammy, I'll go to you and then I'll, I'll end with Ronnie. So if there's any advice that you want to leave um, these young musicians who, who are watching you look up to you and, and man, what, what, what would you say to them? Well, I mean, you know, dear brother, it's okay to look up to people. Like I said, I, I've always looked up to Ronnie. Mm -hmm. I, I still do, and, he, and, and like I said earlier, he was my training wheels till I learned how to ride on my own. But let me say it like this. I think on this particular call, and there's others, but on this particular call, Jairus and Curtis are the manifestation of how I've always felt. Wow. Number one, you have to know who you are. Mm. And you can't allow any structure to detour you from who you know that you are. Mm -hmm. And Curtis and Jairus didn't do that, irregardless of what the naysayers say. Mm -hmm. They are manifesting who they are. Yes. And, and oftentimes when 
we grew up in certain settings, especially religious settings. We have uniformity, but we really don't have unity. Right. But we have uniformity. Mm -hmm. And we don't allow people to express the uniqueness of their individuality. Like people always talk about, and I didn't think nothing of it. Cam, man, all them chords you were doing, like Jared said, Jazz, man, I got shot down for being that way, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got shot down. You're too jazzy. You're too this. You, but that was me. Right. So since I couldn't fully manifest, and that developed a creative block. Right. Here's Curtis and Jarris, not from my physical loin, mm -hmm. but 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 from my I, hell, I don't know what spiritual loin. I don't know the guitar loin. Mm -hmm. They took it to another level. The Mark Scroll Bridges, the Thaddeuses, and that's what I would say. For if you got eyes to see. They're the manifestation of what I've always felt inwardly, bro. No. Either, don't tell me that God gave everybody a different fingerprint. Then when I manifest the uniqueness of my fingerprint, I'm wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, right. I mean, it's just like you, 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 you are yourself. Yeah. And you don't have no problem. Robert Randolph took off and did his thing. Now, I'm not saying that everybody got to go win Grammys. Right. I'm just talking about young people. Get to know who <laughs> you are and love yourself. It's one thing to know God. It's another thing to know Satan, but it's another thing to know thyself. Wow. We, hey. When you know yourself, you're comfortable with yourself. I'll say this and I'm done. I was watching a brother on YouTube. Someone sent me a clip. I won't say his name. He's a professional actor. Mm -hmm. And he said this. When I was living a lie, I was broke, in bankruptcy, and depressed. When I quit living that lie, now the whole world sees me. Wow. So embrace who you are, my brothers and sisters. Love who you are. God made you a unique individual. Express who you are. And don't care what nobody thinks, feel, or say, because they're going to talk whether you're doing it or whether you ain't doing it. All praises be to God. That's, that's great, man. That, that's great. That's great. <laughs> So Ronnie, Ronnie, I'll, I'll go to you and uh, Calvin. Calvin Cook just joined us. What's going on, Calvin? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta unmute yourself. <laughs> there, hold on. There you go. Can you hear me? We can hear you, man. Good. <laughs> they, they talked you up, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> they hey, talked you up. I had, to, I had to send the link because they talked you up. Yeah, I just saw it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man. So we 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 just we just on here having a good good talking, man. G Gammy said that you were you were one of two steel players that he first heard and 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 was so inspired by. And wow. And hear these other guys as well, man. But yeah. So, I, so I, yeah, it is, it is. Wow. So Ronnie, I'm gonna go to you, and then and then I'm gonna end with uh with Calvin. So, you know, so so Ronnie, I know, right? We got Calvin on here. You'll know. <laughs> you know this now. <laughs> we we really blessed today. We got, <laughs> we got Bishop on the line. That's right. <laughs> now, anyway, on a serious note, I'm I'm so happy to see uh brother Calvin Cook. Same here. Go back a long way. He he was actually right along there with my uncle, yeah, Robert Postel. Mm -hmm. They all came up together and played music. But this cat, this guy here, was like a phenomenal, uh, unbelievable steel player and a singer as well. Yes. Amen. And so you know, I thank God for him. It's so good to see you, brother. Same here, man, and Jerry's and yes, sir. I hear from Gammy all the time, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you guys. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? Like I tell people all the time, we, you know, we may be in different places, but we all mother takes children and we all That's belong. True. That's yep. true. Well, I'm from the Jewel Dominion anyway. That's yes, my home church. That's yes. where I was born and raised from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's and so when the family left, I really didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. oh, at that time, I had to go with them. I was a young age, mm -hmm. but uh, still, I still remain. Uh, half my family's over there. Yeah. You know, well, most of them kind of died out, but still, that was my home church. 
Yes, sir. Um, yes. Then, then traveling with um, Lorenzo Harrison's brother, um, uh, and his family split in half. So mm -hmm. that made us still close. Uh, yes. Sir. Close with both churches. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it's so it's so glad, so good to see you, man. You know. Uh, um, you know, just uh, I watch you a lot. I, I, I'm on YouTube. I see you playing on there, and I said, "There he is." <laughs> But on the on the closing note uh, uh, for today, the brother, first I want to say I really appreciate your brother Dante for uh, allowing us to come on to be able to share, Amen, and talk about you know just a little part of history and talk about uh, the things that um, uh, God has blessed us with. Yeah. And um, if I can leave one thing to encourage the young people, mm -hmm. uh, I would leave Proverbs chapter three verses five and six and the whole chapter talks about the wisdom of god it talks about gaining god's wisdom and, and uh, learning about the knowledge of god and uh, embracing that wisdom because i'm gonna tell you something all of this started with god and, and guess all, what it's all going in with it's all going in with god that's right yes and we all going we all go we on a journey right now we're yeah. pilgrims strangers we're traveling through but well, one day we're going to have to meet the, the same god that started our journey mm -hmm. we're going to have to meet him at the end of the journey yes and the and and, and it's all right to, you know to be visual and to do all these things but while you on your way because now we're living in a very detrimental time period now where uh the COVID 19 does not have a pick or choose as to who he, he gonna take out. Right. He's taking out the rich. He's taking out the young, the old. In other words, we all have a time period. Yeah. Where we come into the world, God bless us with what we have, but then there's gonna be time where we have to go back. The spirit is gonna be delivered back to him. Right. Yeah. Right. And so here it is on your journey, number one. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Lean not to your own understanding. That's right. In all your ways. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. And he will. That was Solomon. He right. will direct your path. Now, Solomon was at that time uh, gifted mm -hmm. his father gifted but guess what the same God gave them David that gift of playing the same God that gave Solomon that gift of wisdom now they had to leave and they had to give that <clears throat> God. they had to stand before God Yes. We, we we don't have to we don't have to worry about our grandmama and we don't have to worry about our granddaddy or standing before this person. Standing before, we got to stand before God. Right. And we got to give an account of what we did with the gifts and the things that we had. Is it a parable of the talents? Yeah. The things that we did for who? For him. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I say. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. And then bring it over to the, the New Testament. It says, Jesus, be thy faithful unto death. And then you're going to get your crown. I don't know about you, but I'm looking to get a crown of life. Yes, sir. And I'm not here to waste time with things that, that God is not interested in me wasting time with. And that's my this is my honest, honest, uh, uh, sincere. Uh, uh, input that I want to leave with any young musician do it with all of your heart learn everything that you're supposed to learn yeah. you know uh, uh, study behind those that have come up before you you know you like the Calvin Cooks and uh, 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 Ted Beers and uh, Bishop Harrison's and all Nelson all these different ones but make sure you in, embrace most of all the character of God Mm -hmm. Because one day, 
we're all going to have, the Bible says, I seen the small, the dead, and the great stand before God. And the books were open. And we were judged out of those things that were written in that book. And so this is the most, this, this is where I'm in my life right now, is that I'm interested in making sure that, and it's, you know, not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be no big eye little. I've never wanted to be like there anything. I just wanted to be what God want me to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I will tell you, every young person right now, there have been those that have came into this world and have left the mark. But now they're gone. They're back because they had to stand before God. Yeah. And this is where this is where we want to be. So we don't want we want him to say, well done, thy good and faithful serving. And that is where I'm at. I'm 58 years old now. I'll be 59 in my birthday, which is in September. And that's where I'm at in my, in my life right now. And I would encourage every young person, you know, if you want to call me, Dante got my phone number. If you have any questions you want to ask, yeah. my, Dante, no, I got guitars all over the place. You <laughs> Man, you're not a bishop yet? <laughs> <laughs> they made you I, got you guitars, I got guitars all over the place. Yes, you do. I get all the place though. So you come here, you want to play music, you want to record, you want to do it. That, and though my door is all my wife already know. So you know, whenever I get in music, you know, I, oh, I'm gonna go somewhere else. He, he is in his music. But, <laughs> but uh, that's what I say, man. I love you, man. But Dante, keep yeah. up the good work, bro. Keep Thank on you. doing what you're doing. You know, we talk periodically from time to time. Yes, you Thank you. And for giving us this opportunity, yes. Amen. That, that's my that's my final words, I mean, and I, yeah, I pray that God will bless everybody out there. Absolutely, man. Listen, I, I don't I don't even know how to say thank you to all of you all. Um, you know, this is not only a dream come true. You know, just yeah. to be able to sit and talk to you guys. But um, you know, I'm I'm believing one day we're all going to record together. That would be nice. I'm, I'm just going to yeah. speak. We're gonna, we're going to record. We're gonna we're gonna put some we're gonna put some material out because it's too much talent, um, in 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 all of us to 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 just yeah. sit on, and um you know, and we have to we have to but I, I'm so honored man because I I've sat under you all, and um you know Ronnie Gammy Calvin definitely like just learning gleaning from you guys and um this is what it's about this is this is what it's about you know they hear us play, but most times they don't really hear us speak. They don't, they don't hear what, what's, what's here. They don't know what's here. And, and when people see it and they hear it and we demonstrate it, it, it becomes life. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I'm grateful for you guys, man. I just don't know. <laughs> uh, just to be able to have this, this, this cohesion and connection and, and this togetherness and this brotherly bond between us, it, it's, you can't pay for this. <laughs> you can't pay for this. And y'all are very, very, inspirational to me every time I hear y'all play. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you, you make me want to get better. I done got older and slower, but you still help me to still want to play and give the best that I can because hey, y'all have always been so encouraging. And then, Jerry, when I hear you from time to time, <laughs> I, I wish I could play like you guys now. <laughs> I wish I could pick like them too. I can't pick that fast. They pick too fast for me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Think about what we got, man. These guys are super fast, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm like a turtle compared to them. <laughs> <laughs> but man, this this is great. This is great because we 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 all get something from from each other. Yeah, so, yeah. Man, it's so there's so many people. My brother, my brother's on here. Footies on here. Uh, <laughs> there's so many people that are just, you know, shouting you guys out. So thank you all for doing this. Yes, I sir. really do. I appreciate you taking our time out of your schedules and yes. coming on here and, and talking. Um, and, and we're going to continue to have these conversations and, and, and hopefully yeah. we can um, we can get together and, and demonstrate some some just some techniques, you yeah. know, whether it be from the guitar standpoint, from the steel yeah. guitar standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, from the producing Jerry standpoint. And, and Curtis, Curtis, you know, we, we, we just, we have so much we can share. Hey, right. Curtis. Hey, what, what's up? What's up, Calvin? How are you? Fine. Good to see you guys. 
man. It's good. It's good. It's good to see you too, man. Taking me back to when I used to be allowed to sneak over to Keith the Menu in Rochester, New York, in all them days with Monique and everybody. <laughs> Why are you making me old, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Good. This is so good. You in Georgia? Where you at? You in Georgia? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's right, he's right here in Atlanta, man. I'm about, uh, okay. about maybe an hour away from uh, Atlanta. Place oh. called McDonough, Georgia. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Uh huh. How many years you been there? How long you been out of Detroit for a while then? Um, I, I, I just uh, 12 years. Oh, okay. Okay. It's so it's much peaceful, and then health wise, it's been better for me. Got you. I, yeah. Yes, sir. I just played a show in Georgia last weekend. Wow. What uh, It was a like a little private country club at Reynolds <laughs> Reynolds Lake. I, I hadn't heard of that. Yeah. Is, is is there is there a Green Greensboro, Georgia? Does that sound yeah. familiar? Wow, yeah. man. Yeah. There's a lot of little yeah. names here. Yeah, it was uh that's that's where it was. Yeah. Played it Friday, Friday and Saturday. Wow. Yep. How was the turnout? It was a private show, it was a private country show. It was like uh it was on this um like uh it's like a country club. Oh man, nice. Yeah, it was nice. I've been home ever since uh, October. So our tours have been locked up. It kind of felt good being at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm about cool. ready to make some more money now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, my wife has made mine go quite low, so I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, we 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 can definitely go on. I'm going to I'm going to stop the live stream. So thank everyone from um Facebook for joining us. We appreciate you all um just just joining in and sharing the link and and um, being a part of the conversation. Thank you all so much. We're gonna keep this momentum going. And um, yes. I, again, I wanna thank everyone, um, Jarius, Curtis, Gammy, Ronnie, and Calvin for coming on. You, you guys don't realize like what this, what this, is, what this is to me. And, love uh, you guys. Yeah, I love all of you guys. Yeah, love you guys. Right there. I'm gonna stop the live screen right now, but thank you all, Facebook. All right, y'all take it easy. All right. Take care. Love y'all. All right. Love, love you, man. God bless. All right, Thank bug. You, Take All care. Right, love you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, all.